learn how to make Elsa's travel dress from the movie Frozen 2 with a sewing pattern that was made for Elsa's snow dress from Frozen 1, the first movie. This dress can be paired with my DIY Elsa travel jacket from my last video. In this video, I use mostly stretch fabrics because this pattern is made for stretch fabrics. If you want to do it with wovens, you will need to add closures in the back like snaps or a zipper or something. If you prefer to use wovens and you don't want to use snaps and you just want to use elastic, you'll have to find a different pattern that is made for wovens so that the child can get it on or off. To prepare the pattern, you need to cut along the front and back bodice right under the neckline and then cut through the sleeve just under the cap and add half an inch seam allowance. So I cut out the top piece of the bodice and the sleeve out of just um, a very white lightweight stretch tool and I cut out two pieces so I have a inner sleeve and an outer sleeve and an inner bodice and an outer bodice and I cut the top pieces with kind of illusion tool and then the bottom part of the sleeve and the bodice I added like some shimmer stretch just to um, show a little bit more and then for the main bodice piece I did that plus a white lining so on the lower part of the bodice I have three layers and then the middle part of the bodice I have two layers and then the top part of the bodice I have one layer but then all of that is doubled because it is lined so um, it turns out to be a lot of layers but I wanted that illusion neckline that Elsa has in the movie I thought that was really important you can see here that I'm moving my pieces around my layers they're so hard to see um, there's my hand showing that there's a difference between the three sections of the bodice and that illusion part at the top is really hard to show in a video. You need to sew the bodice back together where you cut the pattern pieces. So the top part will be sewn to the middle part and then the bottom part will be sewn to the middle part and you have an inner piece and an outer piece so uh, um, that eventually those will be sewn together. So I've sewn it all together. You can see this is one side that has my lining and my outer fabric and the top part is still kind of illusion and it fades as it get, gets towards the top. That is how it's going to be put together but you have to sew the shoulder seams together first with right sides together of that front and back and you're doing the lining and the outer piece. Then you're going to baste the bottom part that um, is the thickest. You're going to baste that to the bodice so that it can stay in place. And then you're going to lay all of your bodice pieces right sides together on top of each other and you are going to sew the neckline and this is a little tricky because it is the illusion part it is the part that is the thinnest but having two layers will make it stronger and it will make it better to hold up to play of dress ups and imagination after I sew it I have to clip those curves so I'm clipping all the way around the neckline and make sure you don't cut clip through any of the stitching. Then you're going to turn your bodice right side out, um, your lining and your outer piece, and you need to kind of work with that neckline seam to keep the seam allowance where it needs to go. You can understitch or you can top stitch to keep that seam in place. Whatever um, you want to do will work. Now we're going to work on the sleeves. 
So you sew the top part of the sleeve to the bottom part of the sleeve, but you're going to keep your pieces separate so that you can sew the hem. So now I'm sewing the hem and I have my two sleeve pieces combined. Now I'm trimming the seam allowance at that point so you get a nice point. Turn that hem um, right side out so you can see what that hem will look like. That's what your seam will be in the end. But then open it back up and with right sides together you are going to sew the side seam together through the outer and the inner. And this will make it so you don't have to sew a tiny seam at the hem. So turn it right side out and you have your beautiful Elsa sleeve with the illusion part at the top and the point at the hem. So next you need to sew your sleeves onto the bodice. I just pinned mine on and sewed them in. You can see the bodice has the three layers and the sleeve just has two layers with the illusion at the top. Now we are going to make the skirt and I decided to do a gathered skirt because I knew my daughters would like that better. I'm using white glitter tool and light blue tool plus um, a lining fabric underneath. So I've put them all out in one rectangle that's flat and pinned it together at the top. I also finished the side seams um, to have an open skirt and then I've got done some basting stitches along the top to create um, so I can gather it. I put the opening of the skirt at the front, just off center of the front because Elsa has a slit in her dress and this was the easiest way to create a slit is just to have the opening in the front. Then I'm matching up my front and my back and I start gathering the skirt and all those layers of tulle. I think I have three layers of blue tulle, two layers of um, glitter tulle, plus my lining. So there's a lot of layers to work with and it's a pretty gathered skirt. Make sure that you are pulling the gathering and um, not breaking your thread. Then you are going to sew a seam around to connect the bodice to the skirt. And when you are done, you make a beautiful Elsa dress that has a slit in the front, a gathered skirt, and it's kind of blue at the bottom and white that fades up at the top like the illusion neckline that Elsa wears in Frozen 2. I can't wait to see your beautiful Elsa dresses from Frozen 2. I hope you have a wonderful day.